When the United States of America withdrew its forces from Afghanistan after 20 years in the country, it did so on a promise that once back in the government, the Taliban would provide no safe space for terrorist groups. The groups covered Al-Qaeda and the Tehrik-e-Taliban Pakistan. But with the recent breakdown of the shaky year-long ceasefire between the TTP and Islamabad, questions on the promise began to arise. The ending of the ceasefire not only threatens violence in Pakistan but also gives potential rise to cross-border tensions between the Afghan and Pakistani governments. In a statement issued last year, Pakistani Taliban leader Noor Wali Mahsood said that in return for helping to push the US out of Kabul, his group would expect support from the Afghan Taliban in its own fight. Mahsood also recently blamed Islamabad for the breakdown of the ceasefire, saying that it had allegedly violated the ceasefire and martyred tens of their comrades and arrested many of them. In an answer to a question, Mahsood said that we are fighting Pakistan's war from within the territory of Pakistan using Pakistani soil. We have the ability to fight for many more decades with the weapons and spirit of liberation that exists in the soil of Pakistan. These words should not only concern Islamabad but also Washington. Following the Times Square attack, the TTP was designated a terrorist organization and is still considered a threat to US interests. The Interior Ministry of Pakistan says that it is fully capable of controlling the conflict with the TTP. This arises questions because the TTP's reach and Islamabad's perception of the situation does not match Mahsoud's. In April, the Pakistan army carried out military targets in Afghanistan warning that terrorists were making use of Afghan soil with impunity to carry out activities inside Pakistan. Later, the foreign minister Hinar Abani Khar was sent to express the nation's concerns to Kabul, a day after which the TTP claimed responsibility for an attack in the border province of Quetta, where a suicide bomber had targeted a police van helping a polio vaccination team, killing three and injuring 23. The cross-border Afghan-Pakistani government tensions came to a deadly point last week in an exchange between the two countries' militaries near the Chaman Spin Boldak border post where six people were killed and an additional 17 were injured. In a statement three days after the ceasefire ended, the United States also has accused the Pakistani Taliban of using Afghan territory, naming the TTP defense chief Qari Amjad as a specially designated global terrorist. This gives rise to a possibility that the US could possibly target TTP commanders found operating in Afghanistan, more because it killed Al-Qaeda leader Emil Zawahiri with a drone strike in Kabul in September. The Pakistani Taliban was the only terrorist group in the region to have acknowledged Al-Zawahiri's killing. Mahsoud Veres says that America should put an end to unnecessarily interfering and instigating Pakistan. He also said that given America takes any step, it itself shall be responsible for the loss caused. A year after the US withdrawal, the humanitarian condition continues to worsen in Afghanistan. The UN human rights chief recently accused the Afghan Taliban for the continued systematic exclusion of women and girls from all aspects of life. And in the past week, they held their first public execution since coming to power.